first thing I want to do is just congratulate you guys as coaches for all the accomplishments that you guys have done through basketball in Manitoba. Whether it be like your provincial and the national tournaments, the gold medals you guys have won, all the accolades you guys have got individually. Your players are tremendous being recognized. I'm out in British Columbia and guys, people who know that I'm out from here, you know, they, they come and ask me what's going on in Winnipeg, what's going on in Manitoba, where are all these players coming from, what's going on out there. And, uh, you know, the, the short of it is it's you guys. It's all the coaches that are putting in the hard work, putting in the time, working with the kids. And, um, you know, it's really great to see. Today we're going to talk about uh, some early offense, some stuff that we do at Fraser Valley. Okay, we'll start off slow and keep building. If anyone ever has a question, feel free, just raise your hand, interrupt me. You know, something you want to clarify, we'll just get, you know, answer the question while we're working. All right? Can I get five guys? Can I get a point guard, two wings, and two post players, please? Okay, so what we do, we kind of do what we do in transition, but for a lot of us, I think there's a lot of high school coaches here, you know, whether it be university or high school, the odds are you have one guard that's probably better than the other two. If you don't, congratulations. If you have three really good, five really good players, you may probably don't even have to be here to be honest, right? You're probably going to win. But most of us, hey, we don't, we'd have hard workers, we've got talent that ranges, right? We have better players, we have worse players. For us, we'll talk about what we do to get our point guard the basketball, okay? And as we go along, you'll see how if your wing player is the best player or your small forward or your post, right? But for us, we'll imagine it's going to be the point guard, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to have five guys in the paint. So for us, we always talk about our best offense is our defense. So if we were to work, for us in practice, our first week of practice, we work on offense, but all we do is play D. Once we get a stop, we run down the floor and we look to score, we look to score early. For us, that's our, that's our best quality. So when the ball goes up, who are my two post players here? Here and here? When the shot goes up, whatever post doesn't grab the rebound, you have to be the first big. You got me? Who's my point guard? Right there, Mason? Yeah? You gotta find a 45, find a wing, and ask for the basketball. The wing players, you guys gotta find a wing and run the lane hard. First thing we're gonna do, this is the most basic, is our point guard gets the basketball. We're gonna imagine that he can't head man the ball. So he's gonna push the wing through, okay? And then we'll stop when we get down to the other side. Does that make sense? So Mason, you're gonna get the ball at the wing, you're gonna push one of these two guys to the other side. First big has to go ball side, right? One of you two, okay? We'll go slow and see how it looks, right? So shot goes up, first big, first big. We push through, whoa, 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 stop, 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 stop. So right now as a point guard, there's a bunch of different options that we have, but for right now we'll keep it the most basic. I don't need to go all the way through, all the way through. Through that, that corner over there. There you go. You stay trail post. Can you go to the up a little bit higher, please? Perfect. This is what we get into every single time. If there was an X on the floor, we try and run to this X as fast as possible. So in our practice court at our school, we have X's at either 45. So the moment we get the ball, the board, we push it to here. Whether the point guard has to sprint it up himself, whether he can head man the basketball, we want to get the ball to this position, okay? From here, Depending on your post player, the easiest thing to do is throw it inside, okay? For FIBA 24 second shot clock, you want to find scenarios where you get double teamed. Is there, actually, is there 24 seconds here in Manitoba in high school or no? There is? Varsity? So in, British, yeah, in BC, we don't have that yet. You guys, are, you guys are ahead of us, okay? So if you're a post player, for us, we have one pretty good post player, okay? The easiest thing to do we throw it in, oftentimes your best shooter or one of your best shooters is gonna be your point guard, okay? So if our point guard pushes the wing through, we look to get the basketball in the post pretty early, okay? And from here we have, typically for us, we have our best shooter. Whenever the ball goes into the post, our trail post dives. So as soon as that ball goes in, he dies. No, get out of the paint now. Get out of the paint, you only get three in the key. There you go. And from here we play. This is the most basic, right? We'll get, kind of get more complex from here, but this is the most basic. This is how the floor is going to be spaced. Does that make sense? 
And if your best shooter is this guy, life is pretty good. Because the double team cannot come from the strong side. And this is really huge for us. So if your point guard's a great shooter, right, most post players can't really pass out of double teams. So generally speaking, you want to have, if you can, your best shooter when the ball goes in the post, be strong side. Yeah, that way the post player at least knows I don't have to worry about, if I was guarding Mason here, he would know he would never have to worry about me because I'm never going to leave the best shooter. Does that make sense? Yeah? Okay. Ball here again. That's the most basic uh, option. Now, we'll get five guys in the paint again. We'll go slow. Mason, I want you to get the ball and I want, what's your names? Luke and Kieran. Kieran. I want you to pass the ball up to Luke or Kieran and you guys got to get to the, like, the X on the floor, the 45, okay, and then stop. Does that make sense? First big and trail big, depending on who gets the rebound. Here we go. Perfect. Head man and stop. Perfect. So if our point guard head mans the basketball, our point guard gets away. So he goes. He runs the opposite side of the floor all the way to the opposite 45. Here and you go to the corner. Or Luke. Ball comes here. A little bit wider, please. So again, we've in the same kind of scenario. We have the ball at our at our X, right? We have our low post, we have our trail post, we have our two guards on the weak side. If the ball goes in and our post player doesn't, maybe you have a post player that's not great at, you know, playing down there, yeah? Maybe you have one good one, but he happens to be the trail post for this, for this time. Does that make sense? You want to kind of interchange if you can. What we do is we want to get the ball back to our point guard. So what we do is ball goes in, this guy cuts through. As he's cutting, Mason, a little bit higher, please. Thank you. As he's cutting, Mason is running. Ball goes into the post. So what do you do, big fella? You dive. You dive. If you get really good and you can time it well, this guy can almost set a little bit of a moving screen. So Mason kind of runs off of this. You go, all the, you go all the way to the corner. And our post player, he hands the ball off. So ball comes here. You come, you go down low, down low. You have the basketball. Mason, go a higher, please. And you're going to start dribbling at, at, uh, at uh, Mason. Perfect. Now, you want to pick a guard that's your best player. And again, if all three of your guards can shoot, pass, make decisions, you're laughing. But if you have one guy, this is a way to get this guy the basketball on the move in situations that hopefully will benefit your team often. So for us, again, it's our point guard. So this guy comes off. Our point guard can shoot. You want to find, especially in 24 seconds, you want to find scenarios early in your offense where your best player gets double teamed. So you want to find a scenario. Usually for us, we pick a shooter. Because whenever a shooter comes off a dribble handoff or a ball screen, what has to happen? Or what, sorry, what will never happen? His man will never go under. So if you have a guy that's a great shooter, run him off of his ball screen, a dribble handoff, things of that nature, and you know that he'll never go underneath. So if I'm guarding Mason, and our team rule is, if this guy ever goes, so if Mason was on our team, he was our point guard, and this guy ever goes underneath this, pick, uh, this handoff, Mason will shoot every single time. Even if that means he shoots 50 shots, he will shoot this shot every single time. And that's important, because you want teams to know that this guy here could go off. He has the green light, so to speak. So if I'm Mason, I'm guarding Mason here, I'm going to go over this handoff. Got me? So right now, what does that mean? Mason comes off, the post player has to help, and Mason's getting double teamed. As soon as this scenario happens, we are winning the possession. If you can get the ball in your best player's hands and get him doubled, in my opinion, you are winning. Because all you have to do, if he can pass, is you're playing four on three. Yeah? So here, Mason has the ball. He's being doubled. We have one, two, three, four. But because two defenders are on Mason, we're imagining, there's only three defenders back here. Does that make sense? So right now, when Mason comes off, here's what we do with our post players. This guy runs all the way to the baseline. Okay? All the way, so he's almost standing out of bounds. 
and he runs towards the basketball. Okay? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you going high? Be low, like you're Wayne Gretzky in hockey or something. So yeah, right now, in the net. we're imagining that you might think to yourself, and our guys thought this too, your post player comes, why would you want, oh, this is not going to stay. Why would you want your post player to come towards the point guard? Okay? It looks like right now Mason has no room to go drive for a basket. Mason's not going to shoot. Okay? So for us, we get the ball in our best player's hands, not because we want him to shoot, but because we want him to get double teamed. Yeah? So then the ball comes, the post player comes towards him. This guy here, he okay. dives. Like he's defensive sliding down the lane. Just like this. You want to have your chest to that point guard and make the pass as easy as possible. For right now, there's going to be one post player that needs to guard both of these big guys. Does that make sense? This is a great scenario to be in. You have your best player, your best decision maker with the basketball, probably your best passer. You have one guy guarding these two so, big guys. What we get a lot of in our, in our games is we have the point guard here. We get this a ton. That post player diving down the lane gets open for us quite a bit. If he's not open, it's because a guard from the weak side is coming over and helping out. So what we get is we come here, we look to get doubled, we kick it out, and from here, one of these two guards is probably bound to have an opportunity to shoot a three or attack a closeout. Okay? Does that make a little bit of sense? We'll walk through it a little bit more. Okay? So let's get five guys in the paint. Mason, you're going to pass the ball to one of the wings. The rebound will go to you. You run first big. Okay? So here we go. We'll go slow. Ball goes. Push it up. Mason, opposite corner. Perfect, perfect. Hit the low post. Hit the low post. Cut, 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 cut. Perfect. Okay. Not. You're fine. You go all the way to the corner. Yeah. You come there. You dive. And we're going to hit you for a layup. Does it make sense? Okay, let's try it one more time. Uh, are you more comfortable with low post? Uh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? Okay. Here we go. Say here we go again. Try it again. Ball goes, wings, push it up. Pass, pass, pass. Opposite side. Good. Cut through, cut through, cut through. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Once this guy gets a couple layups or maybe even a dunk, if you have a guy you can dunk, what we're going to do is when this post dives, Mason, you're going to hit the guard coming behind you. Does that make sense? Okay. So now it'll look something like this. So here we go. Ball goes up. First big. Sprint, sprint. Pass. Yeah, hit the low post. Dribble at Mason. Dribble at Mason. Good. And from here, this is important. The people on the weak side never want to move. Okay? When I was a player, I got it drilled into me that you have to move at all times. Yeah? So when, you have, when you're coaching your team, you got to have guys that want to run, move. Most people like to stand and not play basketball until they catch the ball. Right? And that's something you got to be sticking on guys all the time with. So when this guy comes here, you got to move, 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 and now catch him, hit him, bang. You get the other low post. And from here, life is pretty good. This guy has an opportunity to shoot, also a great place to play one-on-one -on -one from. He has nothing for some reason. Come out of the corner a little bit. We kick it to you right away. And now he has the opportunity to shoot, attack the closeout, and we still have a post player posting up there. Okay? Let's watch. Let's go through it one more time. So we'll go to your side. Here you pass the post and cut, cut through right all the way to the opposite corner. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Dribble. Dive, 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 dive. Good job. Good job. Nice work. Nice work. So now here what we're going to do is, Mason, you're going to come off the handoff. You're going to hit the guard here. You're going to pass it one more time, and that guy is going to drive it. Okay? See how this looks. Good. Pass. Dribble at Mason. 
Swing it, swing it. We're imagining he gets to close out. And that's terrific. Now, that's options we do when we hit the low post. So we get the ball to that X we're talking about and we pet the ball in the low post. Now, we're gonna hit the trail post, okay? And there's a few different things we do from there. Mason, you're gonna get the ball, hit the wing and run to the opposite 45 again, okay? You guys are gonna hit the trail post this time. Once you guys get the basketball, we want you to stop. So you can, you can start going, you start going, you start going. You go, 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 rebound, rebound. Good, good. And stop. Now, there's three different things we do to always play with the point guard, yeah? So, first one we do is trail post gets the basketball and he passes it to Mason. Perfect. If you pass the ball to the point guard, our rule is you gotta come ball screen him. So you come, you ball screen, you get low now. You can get low as well. And now we have our point guard with the basketball. He's been moving around a little bit. He'll come off, our post dives, and you kind of fill up. Yeah? And we provide, a ho hopefully, a lot of space for our point guard, for Mason here, to have the opportunity to penetrate. Yeah? If you can get the basketball here, life is good. And as often as we can get the basketball inside of 10 feet from the hoop, we're probably going to have an opportunity to get a pretty good shot off. Okay? We have the post diving. We hopefully have a good shooter filling in behind. Does that make sense, guys? Can we try that a little bit faster? Yeah? Okay. So here we go. First big. You go, you go, you go. Make it simple. Here we go. Good. Pass it right now. Get to that X. Boom. Pass. Hit. There we go. Shoot it. Ah, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, one more time. We're gonna hit the diver, Mason. We're gonna hit the diver this time. Here we go. Good job, good job. Would you throw that pass in the game? Bounce pass or lob it, okay? That's one, that, sorry, excuse me, that's one option. Here's the second thing that we like to do, okay? We're gonna get the ball boys run down, we're gonna hit the trail post, and then we're gonna stop. Okay, so you get going, first big, you get going. Here we go. Ball goes, pass it up, get to that X, and stop. Okay, this here's been working really well for us. And I bet you it'll work really well for you guys. We are going to dribble. Again, we wanna play with this guy, yeah? And you can find a way, if you like this offense, you can find a way to get a wing player here. Obviously, we're doing the point guard right now but you can manipulate the offense to get your best player in these spots. This guy is gonna dribble the basketball at Mason. Mason is going to cut back door. Cut, 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 cut. Luke? Luke, Luke's gonna come off for the handoff, okay? Now, if your post player is a great three-point shooter, lucky you, okay? For most of us, probably we don't have a post guy that's gonna be able to hit um, do you guys have FIBA three-point line in high school? No, not yet. So now, this post player, instead of popping and catching the ball at a spot where he can't really be a threat from, he comes and he down screens for Mason. This, we get lots and lots of shots off this so far in our season. Okay? On this side of the floor, we stay really spaced. So higher, please. Higher, higher, higher and you can go perfect, you're perfect where you are, okay? So when Luke comes off that dribble handoff, he wants to come, he wants to dribble the ball towards the center of the court. He wants to give space to hit Mason coming off that screen, okay? And he's gonna come off, Mason's gonna come off the screen, catch it, and shoot it, okay? Does that make sense, guys? Trail post, who's my, who's my trail again? Trail, do you know what you're doing? Yep. Okay, can we go five on oh? Okay, here we go, here we go. So we hit up, we hit the trail, we dribble, we dribble right away. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's try it again. This option's not that complicated here. Okay, let's see how fast we can get Mason his shot off. Okay, as soon as you catch the ball, dribble. The moment you catch the ball, dribble. Good. Dribble, pass it, pass it, dribble, dribble. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Mason missed a couple shots. Are you giving up on him? Okay, let's try one more time. Let's try one more time. Yeah. Good. Pass it early now. Pass it early to that trail post. Early. Hit him. Hit him. Dribble. 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 Good. Oh, there we go. There we go. He's back. Okay. That shot, that opportunity to penetrate middle works really, really well. Now, what we're going to do is when that guard wing comes off the handoff, instead of passing it to Mason, we're going to do what you did before, and you're going to pass the ball to the opposite wing. Okay? So here we go. Let's try that. Ball comes. Yeah, dribble. Stay high. Good. And stop. This is great. First of all, you're way too... Okay? Most players, and we have a ton of guys that do this, players love standing right on the three-point line. We never practice shooting with people standing on the line. So we use the FIBA line here. When we shoot threes, we practice shooting, we shoot like NBA threes. People, I find players have like some mental block where they just stand directly on the three-point line all the way around it. Yeah? If you can shoot from here, you can shoot just as good from here. The only thing is it's just mental. I've never met a player on our team who can shoot from here well, but if he takes one step back, he becomes a non-factor. It's just a mental thing. And most people stand right on the line, and they're so, they're, the reason they do it, I think, is because they just want to score. Right? They just, they're only thinking about themselves. I just want to get the ball, and I'm going to catch it and shoot it. The problem with this plan standing three-point line is you're never going to get the ball. The passing angle is not great. So guys are killing themselves. They want to score so badly, they actually defend themselves the best. You want to be high and available to catch the basketball. Okay? So you want to be standing all the way here. Okay? And this is awesome for us. As Mason, go back down there, please. As you have, yeah, set the screen. As you have, oh, stop, stop, stop. As you have, again, probably your best shooter coming off this down screen. This guy's obviously setting the screen. That guard just had the basketball. These three defenders are occupied. In particular, these two, right? They cannot not guard the team's best player. So as Mason comes off, we immediately, as we did, reverse it. Ball gets reversed. And from here, it depends who's on your team. If this guy's a great post player, the opportunity to enter, enter it is going to be there. If he's not a great post player and you don't want him to have the ball and look to play, a great option is for him to come. He comes in ball screens, okay? And now this scenario should look familiar. We have our guard going downhill. Where do we want you to go? Along the baseline and coming towards me. Where would you go? You would dive. Where would you go? You fill behind. And we've created another scenario where you have a guard going downhill attacking the basket that needs to get double teamed. Okay? And you have proper, my, my opinion, proper floor spacing. You got a big along the baseline, a big diving, and your guard spacing out. Okay? So can we try that, boys? Okay? Ready? First big. You get, you get out of here. Here we go. Yeah. Push, 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 push. Hit him. Dribble, dribble. Reverse it, Luke. Reverse it, reverse it, reverse it, reverse it. Oh, no, 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 no. Go again, go again, go again. Okay. When you catch the ball, I want you to play with him. So when he catches it, I want you to come ball screen him. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, let's try, let's go, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Luke, why did you dribble? Catch the ball and immediately pass it, okay? Here we go. Roll it. Good. Higher, Luke. Higher. Nice job. Nice job. That looks really good. That looks really good. Okay? Now, what's our... Okay, here's what we're going to do now. So, for us, if you have a post player 
That's pretty good, okay? And you want to get your post player touches. This, again, this for us is a great option. We're going to go down there. Mason, you're going to hit a wing. Wing player passes it to the trail post. Got me? You're going to dribble at Mason, okay? And then we're going to stop from there. Here we go. Oh. Good. And stop. Now, here, if we, we have a guy who's pretty, who's, who's not bad, okay? And we like him posting up. So if you think to yourself, we're running in transition, and this guy's our main post player, and I don't like teams that do this necessarily, if this guy is the guy you always want down low, don't slow your offense down to make sure he becomes your first big, okay? You want to push the ball down the floor, especially if you guys were using 24 seconds in high school. You got to get into your offense quick, okay? So we want, we want this guy, what's your name? Donald. We want Donald down low. Donald's not a threat from out here. You might have a post player that catches the ball out in the pr um, perimeter here, but how he's not, he's not a threat. How do you get him down there, okay? And a great option is, as Donald dribbles the ball at Luke, what we do is, your name? Marcus. Marcus, Marcus is going to come, and he's going to run here and back screen Donald. Back screen Donald. Okay? Luke, you come off. Okay? Luke, you come off, and you reverse it. Perfect. Now, whoa, whoa, whoa Mason, come on, buddy. Donald's coming off. Mason here has two options. Yeah? Mason here has two options. He can cut all the way to the corner, or he can turn around himself and set a back screen for Donald to come all the way through, and then we hit him. And then hopefully you score. Yeah? Do you want to walk through that one more time, guys? Okay. Mason, you start with the ball. You start here. Start here. We'll, we'll, we'll use this super here, guys. Mason, you have the ball. You have the ball. Trail post. We'll walk through it here before we go in transition. So we pass the ball to the wing. We cut through the 45. There you go. Good. Yeah. Dribble, dribble. Oh, nice move. Nice move. Okay. Does that make sense, guys? Can we do that in transition? Okay. Let's see how quickly we can get Donald the ball in the low post. First big, you get out of here. Good, 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 good. Let's try that one more time, one more time. Mason, you're going to cut through to the corner again. Luke, you're going to hit Mason. Okay, here we go. Yeah, hit it up. Good job. Dribble, dribble. Keep going, Mason. Hit Mason, hit Mason, hit Mason. Perfect, and stop. Perfect. Now, we have the ball in our players' hands again. We want Luke to get away. We have a rule. Whenever the basketball goes from the 45 to the corner, the guards have to move as far away as possible. So as soon as, your name again? Kieran? As soon as Kieran passes it, He's got to be in a dead sprint. He's got to run. Luke, you get to the corner now, okay? Now, from here, oftentimes, what are teams going to do when these two posts screen for each other? What, defensively, what, what, are they, what are they probably going to do? Double. You haven't got the ball yet. Oh. Yeah. When the big man screens for you, they're probably going to switch, okay? And if this is the guy you want down here anyway, if this is your best post player, the odds are the guy who's guarding him originally is their best post defender, right? That's pr probably what's going to happen. So when they switch, obviously Big Donald here is going to have a mismatch, we hope, okay? What we do from here is the other post that you have, he flashes, okay? The odds are if I can't guard Donald, how, what am I going to do, right? If I know I can't guard Donald one-on-one, -on -one, Try to deny. The odds are I'm going to deny. I'm going to try and front him. So I'm going to try my best to kind of fight, fight, fight here, fight, front, front. And how are we? Oh, no, no. That's not going to happen. Ball back to Mason. Mason, point guard, big guy. Okay, where's the ball going to go? To Marcus. Perfect. Yeah, goes up top. And from here, this is something, if you have an offense where this scenario happens, a great drill to do is oftentimes when people catch from here, they want to shoot. We had to drill this out of our guys all the time. 
They want to catch the ball here, and this is a great place to have it. But the big fella here is not scoring. We're coming, we're looking lob to Donald. Who could take away the pass to you, Donald? Who's going to stop Donald from getting the ball? How is Donald going to get doubled? The opposite corner, most likely. So we practice, we pass fake, we skip it to the corner, and Luke's going to fire it. Okay? Can we try that a little bit? Okay? Let's get in the paint. Get in the paint. First big, you get out of here. You get out of here. You can get down there already. Here we go. We'll go slow. Hit it. Pass ahead. Get to the 45. Hit that trail now. Here we go. Get all the way through, Mason. All the way through, Mason. Good. Pass, Kieran, and get away. Get away. Get away. Big fella. Good. 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 Okay, let's try it one more time. A little bit faster. One more time. A little bit faster. Okay? Here we go, big guy. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah. Reverse. Reverse. Get out there, Kieran. Not bad. One more time. One more time. Let's give, uh, what side are you, which, who's, who, who are you always passing the ball to first? Uh, Kieran. Kieran? Okay, go to Luke's side. Go to Luke's side. Okay? Here we go. Here we go. Kieran, it's your opportunity. Not bad. Pass. Get out of there, Luke. Woo. Get up, get up, get up. Yeah. Ah. One more time, one more time. Here we go. See how fast we can go. Get out, get out, get out. Good. Run, 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 run. How fast? Get out of it, Mason. Good. Hit him. Hit the trail. Hit the trail. Dribble, dribble. Back screen. Pass. Get out of there, Luke. Get out of there, Luke. There it is, nice, nice shot, good work. Okay, now, 20 minutes left, we'll go off over one more thing. Now, Mason, you're gonna get the basketball and you're gonna continually dribble the ball to the X. Luke or Kieran, you're gonna stay. As he dribbles towards you, I need you to get to the corner. Okay, and then we'll stop. Here we go. So here come, ball comes, your point guard, he dribbles it up himself. So now, perfect, stop. Okay, so now, We've gone over when the point guard pushes the wing through. We've gone over when the point guard hits the wing and himself runs across. Now the point guard dribbles it up himself. You got two guards on one side, got post there. What we do is we come, we hit the trail. This guy has two options. The first option we'll talk about is if he plays with Kieran. So you're gonna dribble the ball at Kieran. From right now, Mason is gonna come and pretend to back screen. Okay? You stay right there, big fella. Whoever your best shooter is, okay? Maybe you have a rule that says, hey, I always want this one guy coming off. Maybe you think, hey, I got a few good, decent shooters. We give them the option. But one of these two guys is gonna run the baseline looking for a three-point shot. So let's say, Luke, you feeling good? Okay? So let's say, Mason, you come down for that back screen, you fake it, and you go sprinting off. Off one, Donald, you're gonna set that second screen for him. Okay, let's start it again. Ball here with Mason. Ball here with Mason, Luke in the corner. Where's my trail, Donald, you're there. Okay, so ball, okay. Back, down screen, down screen, and go. Yes. When he's coming down here, do I screen him? You screen him, you do, you do. Okay, can we run that in transition, guys? Can we do that in transition? Yeah, you good? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Good, nice work, Mason. Yeah, pass, dribble over, Donald. Oh, Luke, Luke. Okay, we'll go over it one more time so the coach can see it again. Luke, you wanna shoot it? You want Mason to go to your side? Yeah, here we go. Okay. Good, get rid of it, Mason, get rid of it. Dribble. Nice work, nice work. Let's do it one more time. Let's go to Kieran's side. Let's go to Kieran's side. Give him a shot at it. Ready? You ready, Kieran? Here we go. Ball goes. Get rid of it quick, Mason. Now, now, now. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Down screen. Not bad, not bad. Now we want to get Mason the shot. 
Okay, Mason, you know how you're gonna get a shot off this? Uh, go off the market. You're, you're gonna use the, the screens, not the guard, okay? Let's see how it looks now. So now we want our point guard to get it. Our wings come off the screen 20 times in a row. No, 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 no. We want to get who the shot this time. So to start back here, Mason, you have the ball. We want to get Mason the shot. You've come off that 20 times in a row. Everyone in the world is expecting you to come off it. Okay, here we go. Nice job, nice job, oh great shot, okay? Now, that's what happens if our trail post goes to the one guard side. Now we'll talk about what the trail post dribbles at the two guard side. So Donald, you're gonna get the ball here and you're gonna dribble back where it came from, okay? Go slow though, here we go. Good, and stop, now. He's dribbling what we call the two guard side. So what happened last time we were in this scenario and the post dribbled at you? Where did you go? Through. Yeah, through. So point guard is the guard here, you start cutting through. Luke's gonna come off for the handoff. Perfect, good. And from this scenario, Luke's got two great options, okay? Luke comes off, oh Mason, where are you going big guy? Get back in the paint, okay? From here, we want, again, we want to look for opportunities to get our guard the shot, right? We want to find ways to get this guy the basketball on the move and being aggressive. So he's going to come off this double screen. So big, but, oh, oh, who are you going to screen, big guy? There we go. He's going to come off. Donald's going to be the cleanup guy. And we're going to look for Mason coming off the double screen. But just as good an option is Kieran on the other side. And Kieran's a great option for this because we have one of our better players coming off a double screen, right? On this side of the floor is only Kieran. So if you got somebody who's really good in space, like we have a guy who's pretty good in a one-on-one -on -one scenario. If, he's in a lot, if he plays in a lot of space, life's pretty good. So when we come here and we got our shooter coming off the double, if we hit the ball to Kieran here, he should have a lot of room to look to attack and look for his own shot, okay? So Luke, you're gonna hit one of those two options on this rep here. All right, let's get in the paint. First big, you get down there. Mason, you good? Yep. Okay, here we go. Yep. <coughs> oh my goodness. If you're gonna hit him, hit him quick. Hit him quick, Luke, you love to dribble. Okay, let's try it again. You love to dribble, big guy, okay? Here we go. If you wanna hit Kieran, pass it right away. Good, get rid of it, Mason. Good, and play, 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 play. Nice move, are you left-handed? No, nice work. Okay, now we're gonna hit Mason coming off the double screen. You ready to shoot? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, not bad, let's try it one more time. Let's try it one more time. Okay, how quick can we get into it? Can we get that shot off in like seven seconds, you think? Here we go. Ah, one more time, one more time. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go, first big, get out, get out, get out. Good, seven, six, five, four, three, two, not bad. And if you can get do this stuff with some pace, and as you guys get more comfortable, you can get lots of great opportunity. It also means that if you're guard, so if you have what, one guy who you need to get the basketball to to be, a, to, be a, to be your best team you can, oftentimes you gotta get it to him on the move. Yeah, in 24 seconds, if you're planning on playing, you're having your best player with the basketball standing still, you're just, unless he's the best player like in your league, it's not going to work out. Because all five defenders can guard him. You're basically playing one on five. You want to find scenarios where you have your best player or your best decision maker. You want him to get double teamed, first of all, right, if he's a great decision maker and passer, but you want him to get the basketball on the move. 
You want him to get the basketball with his defender not right in front of his face, ready to go, with a help side that's all standing there watching him. You want people making decisions. You want help defenders moving. And you want your best player's defender having to work hard. You don't want his life to be easy. Okay? And I hope these things we showed here in the last 50, you know, 50 minutes here can, you know, if you take away one thing or two things, I hope it helps your team out. Okay? So give these guys a hand. Thanks, guys. Mason, thank you. So, you know, that's sort of stuff that we do, um, you know, transition-wise, trying to get, you know, our guy the bass, our, you know, you know, certain people to basketball in certain ways, right? Um, you know, it's kind of weird because I'm doing a, you know, this is my first clinic, actually, by the way. So, uh, you know, I don't really like doing public speaking and things like that. Being the son of a coach, I'm usually, I've, I'm very used to talking basketball, but usually I'm on the listening side. Right, and you're not usually doing the talking. But, um, you know, the biggest thing I've learned from my coaching experience in my basketball life is that, like all this stuff here, the battle, you know, whatever, this stuff doesn't, you know, to be completely honest, this stuff doesn't, like, matter that much. Any offense can work, any defense can work, like, whatever. Right, that's what we do. We've had some success with it. It's some opportunities, options for you guys. But anything can work, yeah? The biggest thing, and so we talk about our team, we have a sit down every year at the beginning of, of the year, and uh, we read from a book called The Book of Basketball by Bill Simmons. Maybe some of you have read it, it's a good book. And there's a story in there from Isaiah Thomas, you know, and it's better if it comes from Isaiah Thomas, a Hall of Famer, than it comes from, you know, my life experience. The players tend to listen better. But, uh, you know, the key to basketball is that it's not about basketball. So, for us, we, we take basketball seriously. You know, we, like we, are, we play lots and lots of basketball. But it's, you know, if your team's going to have the success you want it to have, it has to be worth more than just basketball and putting the ball in the hoop. The best coaching that I do, I, would, I say, is at Burger King on Whopper Wednesday. It's cheap. Our guys can afford it. And we, oftentimes on Wednesdays, we go out to Whopper Wednesday and we eat Whoppers. Not the most healthy thing in the world, but it is cheap and everyone loves it, especially me. And uh, you just talk with your team. You get to know who they are. You build relationships. Guys get to laugh, find out about each other, right? And if you can have, however you do it, right, you want to build your team so that they care about one another. That the reason that they're unselfish or make the extra pass isn't because it's going to give them two or three points. It's because they're going to do something that's worthwhile, that's greater than themselves. The reason why they're going to run hard in transition isn't because this offense works. Like I tell our guys, our offense, I don't know if it works or not. Our point guard's probably smarter than me. Where our point guard is very, very smart. So if he has ideas and goes, hey coach, I have a better, I have something I think could work, we stop practice and go, that could work. Yeah, let's do that. Some of the stuff we did here today was our point guard's idea. It wasn't even me, right? But if you can develop a team where it's like, hey, everyone's talking, the coach, you know, my, my person being the coach isn't bigger than the group, right? You're going to have success. And if the team doesn't work hard, you're never going to win. And obviously, if you're playing basketball and you're playing in a sport, you want to win. And if the guys don't work hard, no offense will ever work. If screeners aren't setting great screens, if cutters aren't cutting hard, if passers aren't putting some zip on their passes. None of that stuff, whatever you learn here will not, you know, my opinion, will not make much difference, right? But if your guys are working hard and sprinting and doing it for the right reasons and developing good chemistry, right, there's a great opportunity to have a lot of success, okay? So that's, that's some of the things we have, you know, bat, the key to basketball is not about basketball. And it's funny that, it, you know, this is all good stuff, but that's, you know, for me, I think I'd be kind of not giving you guys everything I have if I didn't kind of mention, like, for our program, that's the overriding factor. So that's sort of our, our, biggest, our biggest thing. Is there any, any questions before we call it a day? No? All right, well, thank you.